All right, so we're up here in O'Connell Falls today. You can see the amount of snow that's on this roof. Um, they gave us a call, said they couldn't get this other contractor that normally takes care of them out here to take care of this, and they've been trying for the last couple of months. So we got out here. It's not an ideal situation to inspect a roof, but it's usually something obvious when it comes to these. Um, you can kind of see how the, uh, the flashing is completely pulled away. Typically, you want to see a termination bar across right here. So you can see it's pulling away, and... You know, there's about a foot of snow up here, so um, we'll have to bust this out, get it away, and flash this thing properly. Um, kind of going around, obviously I can't get a great look at the majority of the roof due to the amount of snow. You can see on my foot, literally about a foot of snow up here. So you try to see the areas that you can um, and do an inspection in those. So this is a scupper. This is where the water is going to flow out and then go down to a downspout and then uh, get off the roof. Um, looks like there's two of them across this building, but yeah, make my way across here. Um, a lot of people don't like to uh, get up on these roofs. Some people don't like ladders, some people don't like heights, and uh, that's why you give us a call. Um, went around this pipe, not really seeing anything major around this one. Um, he's not having any issues around it, so you know, with the ice and stuff, maybe it'd be a better inspection for the spring, but as of right now, I don't think we really have to uh, address anything with this pipe. Um, making our way over, he was having a small drip by this pipe. So what I'm seeing here is I dug it out. Somebody put tar on this roof. You never want to put tar on a rubber roof. So what happens is that tar is going to dry that rubber out and it's going to start cracking underneath there. That tar is not going to hold up. You want to flash this with a proper um, pipe flashing boot. So we'll get him, uh, get him set up in the right direction.